Thank you very much. Thank you. Looks lovely. Very pretty. Mmm. Tender. Sticky. Slightly sweet glaze. Mmm. I think it all proves that you can do gorgeously modern, sexy things with old-fashioned cuts. Brilliant. So, traditional foods are back on top restaurant menus too. But if they're really going to make a comeback, they need to find their way into the average person's shopping basket. And I'm not sure the public is ready. But I'm going to find out by cooking up a classic regional dish and taking it to the streets. I've chosen boiled pig's trotters, which to make a little less scary, I'm going to serve with a herby tomato sauce. That is tasting pretty good. It's a miserable day, and I'm not sure whether the good people of Harborne are really going to take to my trotters. There they are in their raw state. They transform magically into this, oh. this gorgeousness <laughs> here. We've got a lovely sauce to go with it. One of the great foods of the past. It's cheap as chips. Nice. It's basically slides down my throat. It does have that gelatinous quality, that is true, yes, yeah. It's all right. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, it's good. My father used to make them for me. Did he? So how long is it since you've eaten a pig's trotter? 25 years. Is it? What's it like? Mm. That's good. Let's find you a nice meaty bit. I've got this ready for you if you want to spit out your bones. Oh, that's a whopper. Well, tuck in and tell us everything that you're feeling. <laughs> go for that, go for that. Go on, have a go. Have you had pig's trotters in the with past? When I was younger with my dad, when I was about five or six. Well, that experiment was a spectacular success. Not a single person hated them. One or two weren't sure. Nearly everybody else, though, loved them. And we're talking old people who remember them first time around when they were kids, right down to today's teenagers. I tell you something, old-fashioned Midlands foods, including the pig's trotters, are marching back. <laughs>